Hey everyone, it's Katera, and today we're going to be in Charleston. So we're here for my birthday. I literally just wanted a day to go shopping. So we drove to Charleston and here's our trip. Chariot for the day. So Charleston, post-pandemic, is eerily quiet. Very. There's a lot of this stuff happening. Empty buildings and whatnot. Cool buildings. But not much happening. This is what happens when you agree to spend the afternoon in Charleston with women. You sit in stores like this. I got shoes. <laughs> It's sort of a cool store. Now, if these walls were filled with car parts and mannequins had, you know, racing jackets and helmets on them, <laughs> what do I think of those? Just having a little too much fun. The house on the corner. No, it's this one right here. Yep. It's the second one. Oh man, they got a Jeep. We got a Jeep. We got a swing back up. A little garage. Back in there. It's really crazy and uh, really disappointing, actually, what the what the virus situation has done to downtown Charleston. It's crazy. We spent four years of our of our lives here. And uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been back, actually, even though this was down the road. And just walking through downtown Charleston was very, very eerie. It was super calm, uh, really quiet. Uh, the number of people was just really minimal. You know, some of the stores were a little busier than others, but it, there were kind of pockets of people. You know, just a couple of years ago, before the virus, uh, you go downtown Charleston midday on a Saturday and it's, it's packed. It just wasn't like that today. Again, there weren't many people at all. A lot of the buildings were closed up. So I can only imagine, you know, being in South Carolina, uh, we didn't really lock down fully. There was a, a month or so where things were really locked down and businesses, you know, were closed up or restaurants were closed up. But we got to open back up relatively quickly compared to most places in the country. So I can only imagine how rough and how difficult it's been for uh, you know, people living in cities like New York and Los Angeles sort of brings things uh, into perspective a little bit, just being in the Greenville area in South Carolina, where again, we didn't really lock down all that much. Um, and things got to move forward. A lot of the businesses stayed going. Uh, the restaurants were able to figure out how to keep going. Uh, but some of these other cities like New York City, where, I mean, hotels are closing in Times Square. I mean, that is just unbelievable. States like Michigan and Minnesota and Wisconsin, you know, sort of my original neck of the woods. Uh, I know they had difficult times too. So I just, uh, you know, I hope everyone is doing well. I know the country is starting to open back up now, thank goodness. 
uh, but I hope everyone made it through. It's just tough, really tough coming back to a city that we knew to be really hustling and bustling and really busy and, and seeing it sort of just kind of had withered away. It, it was just it had kind of a dark, dreary, eerie feeling. Uh, it just wasn't the same place. It wasn't the same place we remember. We saw a couple of the stores and restaurants that we knew that we were really familiar with on like King Street uh, had just kind of gone away. You know, buildings vacant um, right on the main thoroughfare of downtown Charleston. This is wild. We got the storm rolling in. We're heading back north to Greenville. We got about a three hour drive now, trying to get back to the dogs. Uh, they've been home alone, so I'm sure they're wanting to get outside, so we gotta hit the road. Well, that was a good little trip down to Charleston with the family. Uh, it's Father's Day, by the way, so happy Father's Day to uh, all of you dads watching. There really isn't much more out there that's better than being a dad, so it's always a good time spending some time with the girls, uh, especially when you get a chance to make a little trip, a little day trip down to a city that we spent several years in, so it's pretty cool. As you saw that little, that little yellow house out there that we drove by in one of those clips, that was the very first house that we purchased. We were only in that house for uh, about a year. We we quickly outgrew it, but in that year's time, we we went through and updated every single room in that house. So I redid two bathrooms. I redid three bedrooms. Um, we put, uh, redid all of the baseboards, upgraded all of the baseboards and trim in that house, uh, painted every room, did some custom cabinetry, custom tile work, uh, uh, made a couple of custom light fixtures. I, I really went crazy uh, in that house. And it was really awesome. I wish I was doing YouTube back then. Could have documented that whole process. Uh, we sold that house and we moved, eventually relocated up to uh, the upstate of South Carolina, the Greenville area. And now looking back on it and seeing what that house, the value of that house is now in that Charleston area is unbelievable. We should have we held on to it. We'd be, we'd be killing it right now. I don't remember if I mentioned to you guys or not, but we are scheduled to hit Soho Motorsports, get on the dyno and test out the intakes uh, for this car. And I got a couple other pieces coming too. So stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, it's going to be exciting, but we are scheduled for Friday, July 23rd. So about exactly a month from now. I wish I could have got in sooner, uh, but I'm waiting for a few things and they're really, really busy. So uh, that's coming up here shortly. So make sure you stick around for that. A lot of people have asked me lately if I've done anything else with that rear differential brace uh, after doing my test and review video. If you didn't see that video and you're interested in a rear diff brace for the Q50, go check that video out. I'll put a link in the description if I can remember. I have not put that part back on. So if you remember, I pointed out a couple of design flaws with it. Um, first of all, I'm not a huge fan of using the rear diff cover and the, the hardware to secure the diff brace. I think there's got to be a wet, better way than that. Um, this, I don't think, is the best and most effective design, having this kind of 90-degree bend here, this loop. Uh, and with round stock, I'm just not sure. I think it has to be more of a more of a, a direct, angular, uh, you know, connecting piece, the actual brace portion, or at least have a support brace right here. Uh, there is a lot of torque and a lot of flex uh, on this single loop, uh, especially if the car has any amount of power or any any amount of torque uh, and gets grip. Uh, I just This is not the most effective. It just kind of, it, it lends itself to doing this type of motion. On top of that, the hole in the subframe that's used to mount this thing is too large for the bolt. The maker of this part said that they were going to ship out uh, a sleeve to fill that hole. Uh, to all of the people that had ordered the brace, I have not received one. I don't know if any of the other people that had purchased this brace received one. Um, so that's an issue. On top of that, it's a single mounting point, uh, which can cause, it could potentially be a pivot point uh, laterally, uh, but more importantly, uh, it can do this. We know that these cars will be on Q50s. I believe this part was meant for the 3.0Ts. Uh, with that being said, knowing how much torque those cars can make after tuning, you know, think about 500 plus foot pounds of torque combined with any amount of grip. If it flexes that rear diff on this single point, um, it could potentially bend or crack your subframe. Uh, this can be a major pivot point, a major point of failure. Uh, I just, it, it's, it's a good concept. It's something that the car could definitely benefit from but it needs to be redesigned. 
I don't really intend to talk about the diff brace in this video, but a lot of people have asked for the last couple of days, so I just had to point it out, point out the fact that I, you know, I did try to, I found a, I found something to use as a sleeve to fill in that hole in the subframe, and you know, just considering the fact that that is not all this thing needs to be really functional, I, I just decided to take it off. It's it's not really doing what it should. It's not really that effective as you saw in some of those videos. It needs to be redesigned, and until then. I'm just gonna not use one. Still haven't had any luck in finding another project car. I was going to actually look at a vehicle when we were down in Charleston and uh, I had a, a set up a time to look at it, an appointment. You might say at 10 o'clock, somebody else was looking at it at nine. This person selling it actually messaged me right away and said uh, the vehicle did sell at nine o'clock. So, you know, we were already going to Charleston. It wasn't a wasted trip, but I, I, man, I, I, was, I was excited to get my hands on something finally. But uh, if you guys have anything for sale that's interesting at all, let me know. I've sort of kept it as a secret up to this point, but I've been looking at Nissan Infiniti cars, you know, 350Z, 370Z, G37, G35. Uh, I've, I've been looking at mainly those types of vehicles uh, because I was considering selling or trading this in for something different. At least then I could keep a Nissan or Infiniti on the channel. Uh, but now that I'm holding on to the queue for a little bit longer, at least uh, I'm open to really anything that might generate some interest in the channel. So my 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 search has been broadened to widths that you could never imagine. I've looked at Jeeps again. I've looked at Zs. I've looked at Mustangs. Uh, I'm sorry, I've looked at a couple Integras. What I do want is a vehicle with a manual transmission and rear wheel drive. So if you have anything uh, that's manual trans and rear wheel drive, uh, under 10 grand, I wanna keep it under 10 grand. I truly want it to be a project. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Something a little interesting, something a little unique uh, and manual transmission. More importantly, most importantly, I actually wanna teach my daughter how to drive a stick shift. And uh, that's sort of my motivation. I, I don't necessarily need a manual transmission car for a project car. Uh, but since I already have an automatic, I uh, haven't had a manual trans car for quite a while, uh, but my daughter now is driving and I want her literally to be able to drive any vehicle that she gets into. Uh, that's motorcycle, stick shift car, trucks, you know, big vehicles. I just don't ever want to have her find herself in a situation that she can't get herself out of. If she has to jump into a car to escape and it's a stick shift, I want her to be able to rock and roll. If there's an emergency somewhere, and she's got to get somewhere quick. And the only way to do it is hop on a motorcycle. I want her to not hesitate. Maybe that's a little bit of the uh, prepper talking in me. I don't know. But I seriously want her just to be prepared for any type of situation. My wife my wife learned to drive in a four-speed pickup truck. An old four-speed pickup truck, truck out in the pasture. Uh, so she's been driving stick her whole life. Get your mind out of the gutter. I just realized that's that's on you. So we're still looking. Let me know what you got. And don't forget, guys, I got that giveaway coming up for the Infinity Diamond Pattern Floor Mats coming up. These things are pretty sharp. Like I said, I tried them out for a couple of weeks. I'm going a different direction with this car. I'm going OEM interior, so I'm getting just some new OEM uh, floor mats. So I'm giving these bad boys away. I think these were like $150 or $180. So pretty, pretty good value, pretty good giveaway. On top of that, of course... We'll include, not the keys, no keys included, but a couple of uh, key tags for you, the Speed Culture one and Infinity uh, specific key tag, a couple of Speed and Mayhem stickers, Speed Culture decal. I'll get you a set. I'll give you a set of decals, not just a single. But here's the thing I'm excited about. I got some new merch in, and I'm going to give one of them away. This one, I might keep this new hat for myself. This thing is pretty dope. My daughter took the sticker and ripped the tag off already. So I don't really want to give this one away. I like it, Speed Culture logo, uh, but I got a couple others. Now I'm trying to decide which one I should give away. These things are sick. I didn't even know this was possible. Seriously, I'm gonna check these out. This is really cool. I, tr I just tried it out to see if it would work. And uh, the Safari Sun artists uh, worked with the, image that I, the images that I uploaded and um, they turned out great. These are leather patches that are laser etched. Really, really sick. This first one, this blue one, is a flat bill snapback. Turned out really sick. Uh, really kind of cool. I'm gonna, I'll include one of these. 
I'll include one of these hats for this giveaway. I'll decide which one at a later date. Maybe I'll wait for feedback on this video and see which one you guys prefer first. So here's this first blue one. It's blue, uh, snapback again with the black mesh, Speed Culture logo, and <laughs> an image of the car. This is this is my screen. This is my wallpaper on my computer, and this is the cue at Tale of the Dragon. That turned out sick. Again, this is just this is a leather patch laser etched so sick uh, so that's one of the options let me know what you think of this one the other option is the navy with the white again snapback but this is a trucker style hat so it has the rounded bill uh, which is cool a slightly different image and a slightly different leather this is a sort of a medium brown leather really dope Look at that. That thing is cool. Again, that's the Q at Tail of the Dragon. You can even see some of the trees etched into the background. Really dope. And I like how this the leather letters are raised here. I mean, super cool. And as these wear out and you touch them or whatever else, it just, the leather starts to look cooler and cooler. This is brand new, fresh, you know, like top grain leather. Really, they're thick patches, really sick. So two options for hats. And I, I, I'm going to give both of these away. I'm going to give both of these away. I, I guess, I guess, I guess I'm totally willing to give this one away. I love this hat and I love this, this decals or the, uh, the logo is really sick. Um, this is my own personal hat. You've seen this one on the channel. So I guess I could give either one of these away. Again, I just didn't know if anybody would want this because the sticker and the tag had been taken off, but I it hasn't, it hasn't been worn. It's, it's brand new. So either one, I was leaning toward giving one of these away with this giveaway with the, with the floor mats, but you guys let me know, uh, in the comments below of this video, which hat you would prefer to see in the giveaway. And uh, that's the one I'll include this time. But, like I said, they will eventually all be given away. Just which one do you want to see given away with the floor mats? And on top of that, on top of that, I'm partnering again with Super Clean. And they are going to be sending the winner of this particular giveaway a couple of Super Clean products. But if you have some dirty wheels and tires that you really want to get cleaned off, that aerosol foaming spray is really good. But... Again, Super Clean has uh, so graciously said that they will partner with me again on this giveaway. So we want to make sure there's a bunch of entries and we want to make sure you guys get some good stuff. So really, really exciting. It's Father's Day right now, like we said earlier. So I'm going to actually do a dedicated giveaway announcement video coming up. Probably, I want to let it run for a week. So it'll be at the end of this month, the end of June. And then it'll run for a week and we'll do... Uh, we'll close it off like 4th of July, right? So this is going to be the 4th of July giveaway. So there's a potential giveaway package. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. So there is a potential giveaway package. You get one more decal and minus the keys, of course. But some front and rear Infinity logo diamond pattern. Really nice, thick uh, quality material floor mats. A couple of super clean products. A really awesome one of a kind speed culture hat uh, one one of these and a couple of key tags and some speed and mayhem stickers i think this is a pretty good pretty good package I'm, I'm pretty pumped about this one let me know in the comments which hat you guys would prefer out of the three um and then that's the one the one that gets the most comments i suppose will will be the one i include i'm sort of leaning toward well i'm sort of leaning toward the royal and white hat at this moment but you guys are into the blue flat bill uh, that's cool if you're into the logo flat bill hat that one's cool too i really like I, I love the the color combination of this one it's sort of like a that charcoal gray with the white and the black mesh and that logo is sick so let me know in the comments and we'll throw that hat in for the giveaway uh, and again that one's going to be announced toward the end of this month so we can so we can conclude on July 4th for the 4th of July floor mat giveaway. There we go. Floor mats for the 4th. That's all I got for the vlog today. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's just kind of a whatever. Thanks for coming along to Charleston with me. But happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there. 
Appreciate you guys' continued support. Onward and upward for the channel. Big things coming. More good videos coming your way too. So uh, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it very much. We'll see you in the next one.